channel where I talk about vintage fashion and men's fashion. So welcome to another episode of History of Fashion and today guys we're going to talk about the fashion of the 1990s. The 1990s were defined by the globalization and alternative media. Movements such as grunge, the rave scene and hip hop spread around the world to young people during that decade, aided by the new technologies such as cable television and the world wide web. Western world fashions reflected this by often turning highly individualistic and counter-cultural which was influenced by the Generation X, Generation Y and Millennial status and body piercing gained popularity and retro styles inspired by the fashions of the 1960s and the 1970s. Some young people became increasingly involved in extreme sports and outdoor activities that combined embracing athletics with the nature. From the late 1980s many young men in the UK and Europe wore tapered and cuffed high-waisted jeans with matching denim jacket. Ralph Lauren sweatshirts, polo shirts with contrasting colors, short Arrington jackets, grey Tommy Alfiger sweaters with prom prominent logos, oversized guest denim shirts, brightly colored wind cheaters, in especially yellow green, hush puppy shoes. From 1998 until 1995, flannel shirts became very popular in the US and Australia due to their use among the skater subculture and grudge bands including Nirvana, Mood Honey or Pearl Jam. Unlike the fitted western shirts of the 1970s which fastened with the pearl snaps, the flatness shirts of the 1990s were padded and loose fitting for optimum worth. Men also wore acid wash jeans, patterned wool sweaters with turtlenecks underneath, black Scott Perfecto leather jackets, sheepskin coats, olive green anorax, corduroy sports coats, gray sweatpants and fingerless gloves. In Britain and US, popular accessories included Converse All-Stars, Trapper Hats, Tukus, Combat Boots, Doc Martin Boots, Aviator Sunglasses popularized by the late rock star Freddie Mercury, and Neon Colored Trainers. Thanks to Beatpop, men wore a large shirt, brown leather jackets, velvet blazers, paisley shirts, throwback pullover bas baseball jerseys, and graphic print t-shirts. During the mid-1990s, men wore also loafers, desert boots, Chelsea boots, gold jewelry, boot shoes, chunky digital watches, solid color ties, shoulder bags, and black and neon colored eye top sneakers. Clothing was popular in the US, where wealthy young men wore khaki slacks, canvas, boot shoes and navy blue blazers with breast pocket monogram or gold buttons bearing a family crest. In 1990s preppy was more casual than the almost dandified look of the 1980s as young men abandoned ascots and Oxford shoes in favor of Nantucket reds, nautical striped t-shirts, loafers and madras cloth or gingham short sleeve shirts. Desirable brands included Gap, Old Navy and Abercrombie and Fitch. Hip-hop fashion went mainstream in 1992, with the oversized baseball jackets, baggy jeans, bomber jackets, baja jackets and tracksuit, popular among young men as casual wear. Industrial and military styles crept into the mainstream fashion, with machinery baseball caps were popular. Southern Hip Hop provided a platform for fashion designers and musical artists to collaborate, forming an influential subculture of anti-fashion and alternative fashion designs. Thanks to rappers, sportswear became acceptable to wear in public throughout the mid and to the late 1990s, especially oversized t-shirts, baseball caps, sweaters bearing the New York Yankees logo, tennis shoes, hoodies, jeans shirts, khaki gargo pants, Peggy's bas basketball shirts, chinos, tracksuit, and back plumber jackets. From 1995, 
Men wore overalls, straight leg jeans, plaid pants, flat front chinos, khaki pants and camouflage pants. In the late 1990s, ski goggles became popular in hip-hop fashion. During the mid and late 1990s, the silk Madiba shirt became popular in South Africa and worn globally. From 1996 to 1998, traditional African clothing began to face serious competition from cheap imported Mitumba clothing. The dashiki suit became popular during the 90s. Variants in green, yellow and black were worn as an alternative to the business suit by many African Americans. the grunge look became unfashionable. The emergence of the rave subculture has sparked a revival in interest in more stylish clothes, with brand designers such as Calvin Klein and Ralph Lauren making a comeback. In Europe, jeans were more popular than ever. From 1997 to 1998, brighter colors came in into style, including plume, kerchief, olive, wine, and shades as camellia rose. Much of men's fashion in 1997 was inspired by the 1996 film Swingers, leading to the popularization of the dressy casual look, such as blazers, black and red leather jackets and bowling shirts, with a variety of prints or a solid color, a loose-fitting flat front khaki chinos or jeans. During the mid to late 1990s, Gothic fashion peaked in popularity among American, German and British teenagers seeking to break from the mainstream. Black leather trench coats, frilly poised shirts, wrinkled pickers, velvet blazers, long black hair, fetish clothing and tight pants were a common sight on both sexes. So guys, now that we know a little bit about the history and the style of the 1990s, I will show you some outfits because for this episode I did various outfits, so stay tuned.
guys hope you like this video comment like subscribe hit notification bell so you will know when i put my next video so i don't know if i will do the 2000s and 1910s because they're a little bit tricky for me but let me know in the comments below if you want them i will see you very very soon